Hey guys, welcome back to Next Mini Bikes. Today we're gonna do a Will It Run style video on a GX. I don't know if it's a 390 or a 340 that I picked up yesterday for cheap. Um, some of the leftover 301 parts fit it, so we're good there. The gas tank and the air box and maybe the exhaust. We'll see what happens. So we'll get some of that stuff on there and see what she does. So it wasn't windy at all out here until I hit the record button. So that's neat. So here's what I picked up. We don't got a pull starter. Uh, the 301 kind of fits, so we'll use that. We don't have a gas tank. We don't have an air box. So I got the old gas tank off my 301. It sits right on there. I got the air box off the 301. It goes right on there too. So let's get started. So let's start by checking the oil here. I haven't really looked at it much at all except for how dirty it is up here. Looks like she could use a bit of oil. I'm guessing it's a stock motor off of something because oil sensor is still hooked up. And the throttle still tightened down. So you know if it was on something you start it up and set the throttle where you wanted it. So let me get some oil. Let me get some oil in there. So I ran only the finest cheapest stuff I can find. Full synthetic with a ZDDP additive in it. My driveway is slanted pretty good and it's coming right to the end of there. Tip it up a little. So that's perfect. Perfect enough for what we're doing. So we got oil in it. Now I need to figure something out for that starter. So this is the side cover off my 301. I'm gonna see if it fits here. I just took the pull starter off of there. It's in the starter cup, but it's a little smaller of a diameter. But I got a confession to make. I tried this already. If I just start these top screws here. backwards I can get this bolt started down here snug them down there's a working bolt starter so with that on there it'll work for testing but we'll have to get an actual pull starter for it the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this spark plug out
All right, so we're just gonna check, see if we have spark. Right in there. Should ground out right there. Not seeing any there, so take this plug. That's the plug out of my Predator 301. Let's stick it in there, see if it gives any spark. Still not seeing any sparks, so let's get in that side cover and look at that coil. Just looking at it here. It's pretty dirty. Pop that side cover off and we got all kinds of goodies in there. So we'll get that cleaned out. Also, that magnet is a little dirty. Still magnetized. So we'll get that cleaned. Pull. Pull that coil off, clean the bottoms as well. I'm just gonna take a little bit of sandpaper. Clean that magnet off. Now it's good and shiny. Now I'll bring you back when I figure out how to get this coil off. All right, had a bunch of stuff caked on those, just two 10 mils. All right, we got the coil off there. Just caked with this, I don't know, weird dried mud, white stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna clean these two points off here. And I might get a nylon brush and clean the rest of it off. All right. We got that all cleaned up. Quite a bit of gunk on there. So that's just all cleaned up. I'll clean these ears off. I'll get that back on there. Wire it all back up and we'll see if we have spark. Now we'll stick our spark plug back in and see if we have spark. Try the one that came out first. I got a clean spot to do that. All right, I'm not gonna bother putting the fan shroud back on. I did clean the spot here. I'm gonna make sure we're actually getting good contact on that piece. And I'm gonna spin it over with my impact. Put it on the bolt inside there. All 
All right, went ahead and reconnected the kill switch on the fan shroud. Let's try this again. So I'm still not seeing any spark from that guy. We'll try. 301 plug just in case that's a bad spark plug there let's see what we get out of this one I've still not seen any spark. What I got here is the coil off my 301. So we'll install this one real quick and see if we get spark after that. Okay, I got that 301 coil put on there. It's actually quite a bit thinner than that uh, GX coil. So I had to get some washers to go on the bolts. Wired in a different kill switch over here. I'm just gonna ground it like the Predators would be to the case here. Right there. Got it on on. Let's see if we get spark now. not seeing any spark with that uh, original plug put the 39 the 301 plug back in I can see that one jumping in there, so we're gonna roll with that and see what happens. We'll put the 301 plug inside there. Okay, so we got spark going to the spark plug. It's not the greatest spark, but it it's spark. So we're gonna put the side cover back on. Got all the big gooeys cleaned out of there. So we'll just slide this back in place. So we're gonna need a gas line. I got this left over from the 224 build. It's kind of big for those nipples, so I'm gonna clamp it. Something like this. That away. Now we're ready to put that air box on. So I got my metal gasket.
Choke lever. In the airbox. And on the back side here, we've got the hose coming from the valve cover. We'll put it up into the airbox right there. the airbox. For my 301 gas tank. line even hooks up. How about that? I'm all this. I don't know how long they need it. It's a little longer than what I thought. Slide it on. Get this clamp screwed up. Sit it right on there. I don't have any nuts and bolts for that tank at the moment. And there we go. This tank was never used, so I know the tank is good. So put a splash of gas in there. See if it leaks out of this carburetor. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of gas, not a lot. So I can see gas in that gas line there, so that's a good sign. Put the lid on that gas tank. And now I'll go get Chuck. Have him hold this motor while I try to start it. Alrighty, so we got gas. And we're leaking gas. I just set them in bowls loose, just to snug it up a little bit, choke it. I've got my kill switch on, Chuck is holding it. Let's see what happens. I'm thinking there's something wrong with those valves because that shouldn't be so hard to pull and it shouldn't yank back like that. So before we go any further, I'll shut the gas off. I'll pull that valve cover off and check that valve lash. So there's our valve cover. Just a single 10 mil bolt. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, that'll do it, I think. So let's just snug that down a little bit. We'll spin it over and we'll watch for that compression release. Right there. I want to pull that spark plug back out of there. 
make sure that piston's up at the top. I did see the intake and the exhaust movement and I saw the compression release. I'm gonna take that spark plug out and make sure that we're on top dead center. I got my longer screwdriver. Slide it in there. It's hitting that piston. Now we'll just double check. There. Exhaust. Intake. Compression release. Now we'll just wait for that piston to come up. Right there. So we got wiggles. That's good. I'll be back. I'll go find some wrenches that fit those two there. Okay, so we saw this was really loose, and what happened, that stud backed out. So, pull that, give it a once over. It's not bent. We'll put her back. And we'll pull this one out as well. Take a look at it. And that stud's coming out of there as well. So we'll just give them a check the studs. We've got one over there so we know where it came from. We'll check this push rod here. Plate got some goo on it. We'll just stick these back in and make sure we get them in the tap that's down there. Take our plate, get it back on. get these apart and get our studs off then we'll take off that lock nut it's 10 mil then our adjuster And there's our stud, and it's gonna go right in there. We're gonna clean it off. I'll clean out the hole, and we'll put some Loctite on there. So, I'm gonna start by just cleaning out these holes. Your eyes. Then I'm gonna clean off the stud, the oil off the stud. Like that. Just gonna put some thread locker in both of them. Got my thread locker on there. Use blue, cause that's what I got. Just screw that one back in. Grab my other one. back in got both those in tightened up now those shouldn't be a problem again we got rocker arms slide them on there take our adjuster screw it down Take our lock nut and we'll stick it right on top there. And we'll do the same for the other side. 
But I don't know what valve lash is on these. I'm going to go with 3 thou. Because that always seems to be a good number. So we're going to just get a little loose. I think it takes a 10 and a 14. So I got a 14 and an adjustable wrench because, you know, 10s don't really exist. And we'll hold it. Tighten down that lock nut. It's too tight, so we'll come back off the lock nut. don't fit that very well. I thought it fit it pretty good. It's a pretty wore out 14. We'll back that off. Got it snug. We'll hold it. Hold that 14, tighten down the 10. Now we got that intake one set, we'll move over and I'll set the exhaust. There we go, got them both set, 3 thou. I don't know what it's supposed to be, 3 thou is what we're going to go with right now. And we'll see how that goes, get that valve cover back on. Alright, so I got that valve cover cleaned up a little bit, we'll just set her back in place. Give her the old centeroo. Plug this vent line back in. And I'll need to get that spark plug put back in there. And we'll give it another try. We got the valve sorted. I got Chuck back out here. Turn my fuel switch on. We got gases off. Turn the gas back on. We're still leaking out of the bowl down here, so we'll have to do something about that. Got it choked. Just gonna give it a little pull.
Alright guys, we got that GX390 up and running. Um, I had to use quite a bit of parts for my 301 to get it going, like the pull starter doesn't quite fit right at all. And then I uh, had to use the coil, it also don't fit right, but it worked. And we got to hear that motor run, which makes me feel better about spending some more money on some parts. So I'll get a pull starter for it, I'll get a coil. Um, thinking it might need a carb because that thing is just leaking like a sieve so I'm gonna start tearing this motor down and I'm gonna clean it this thing is filthy dirty all the fins are packed full of looks like tar um, yeah so we're gonna get all that out of there get it cleaned up and just get her going again I got a another tote goat the one I got is a model B um, that I'm planning on putting this motor in uh, with a live axle rear end so that's my plan for this motor and we'll see how it goes uh, like comment and subscribe if you want to see progression on that build thanks for watching guys bye